All right, guys, so welcome on board to this exclusive masterclass where we'll be showing ourselves how to earn passive income via copy trading. My name is Toby Okunuga, and I'll be your presenter for today. This is how um, I look, um, a bit of background by myself. My name is Toby Okunuga, as I've mentioned, I'm a Forex trader. Um, I've been in this Forex trading industry since 2018. So this year will make it fifth year um, that I've been trading in the financial market, right? I'm also a partner and I work with um, Tentrade and then Tentrade is the one bringing this particular masterclass live to you, okay? And then we wanna show you how you can earn consistently in the foreign exchange market, leveraging on Tentrade's social copy trading platform. Okay, so in the next 30 minutes to 45 minutes, that's what we'll be looking at. And then, of course, I'll give everybody an opportunity to ask questions um, so that you get an, a better understanding of, about everything we are doing. So let's start. Who is this masterclass for? Very, very simple. It's for anyone who is new to the idea of Forex trading. So if you are here right now and then you're probably just learning the ropes of forex trading you are a beginner you are less than you are a few months or you know into trading and then you are probably still don't have a good grasp of the forex market i'm going to show you how you can leverage on what 10 trade has to you know fast track and have a better um, result in the foreign exchange market for forex traders who have blown several accounts over and over again Blowing account over and over again is, pre is, is pretty much like a baptism these days into um, forex trading, right? Pretty much everybody blows account, but the majority of traders will keep blowing account over and over and over again. Now, if you're in that category and then you like to stop blowing account and then start growing account, we're, we're gonna show you how you can do that with what Tentrade is offering. And then lastly, for investors who have been duped by Forex traders. Now, most of us here are based in Nigeria right now. And then in Nigeria, there hardly going to be a year that we don't find new investment schemes. Now, we just started this year. I can bet you before the end of this year, at least we, we should hear about about 10 new investment platforms. And these platforms would you know, promise you uh, gains, daily gains, monthly gains. And then they are giving you 100% guarantee that if you invest with this company, every month will give you like 30% or 20%, okay? Now, a lot of people, especially beginners, fall prey to this particular um, Ponzi schemes. And at the end of the day, or after a few months, those particular companies end up, you know, crashing because that system was built on, you know, Ponzi was a, was a pyramid scheme. They were not actually um, trading in the financial market. They were, you know, rubbing Peter to paper, as we said, right? So, and a lot of people have lost millions of Naira, tens of thousands of dollars to these schemes, right? Personally, I know a lot of people actually that have you know, fallen prey to this and that has kind of given the Forex market um, a kind of stigma, like a bad rep uh, because of these particular scam platforms, right? So what Tentrade wants to do tonight is to educate everybody here, how you can still uh, be involved in the foreign exchange market as an investor, right? And be able to grow your account consistently without the risk of losing your account. And then I'll show you everything that it's all about. Unlike, unlike those platforms that you need to probably send all your money to a particular address, to a particular person, right? We tend to trade, um, copying platform, you are not sending your money to anybody. Your money will, will remain at your disposal in your account. Only you have access to your capital. But with technology, there'll be a way that, you know, 
um, a master trader or an expert trader will be trading on your account, right? So we'll go uh, into that shortly. All right, so my goal for you today is very, very simple, uh, is to have everything you need to invest in profitable Forex traders who will trade your capital for you and make five to 20% profits each month. It can be less than that, it can be more than that, but the goal is that we, we, we want to give access to profitable traders, okay, who you will see their performance, their track record before choosing to, you know, trade with these people. So you are making an informed um, decision on who to trade with. And then, of course, you'll be able to earn passive income. And this is even if you lost a lot of money to the first, to the first market before. Now, regardless of your experience with Forex, right, if you follow through with what you learn tonight, I believe that it will make a whole deal of, a great deal of difference, okay, because you should be able to make uh, money consistently. And then we'll check out all of that shortly. So again, I'll take questions at the end of the presentation, please. So as I'm speaking, and then possibly you have uh, questions, you can just jot them down somewhere so that when it's time for questions, you can remember and ask those questions, okay? So let us dive in. So let's start with a risk disclaimer. We are in the financial space. You must understand that Forex market is, is risky and then it's not suitable for everybody. So only trade money that you can afford to lose in the market. Past performance does not usually always guarantee future results. Okay, good. So that is out of the way. So let's start by talking about what passive income is. The whole goal of this webinar is to show you how you can, you know, start earning passive income um, with copy trading that Tentrade offers. Now let's define what is passive income. On this slide it says, passive income is a recurring revenue stream that requires little to no effort or time to maintain. Okay, it's a recurring revenue stream that requires little to no effort or time to maintain. So this is money that you earn that requires little to no effort. And, you know, if you are listening to, you know, all these top billionaires of the world, like your Warren Buffet, you know, I think it was him that said that um, if you don't find a way to earn money while you sleep, you will walk until you die. Right. Um, and I'm very sure that nobody wants to walk until they die. Right. So at the point in your life, maybe in your early 40s or 50s, you might want to just relax, you know, enjoy time with your grandkids, you know, and just live life without having to actively work for money. Right. So there's a time for active in income and then there's a time for passive income. There will be a time in our lives that we might not necessarily be able to have active income. For example, during the pandemic, that is um, 2020, a lot of people lost their active income because of policies, because they couldn't go out, right? Only people that, you know, had a structure for passive income or residual income were able to really survive that period. And then why should you also start thinking about passive income right now, regardless of your age? So let's assume that God forbid, something happens to your active income right now. Are you still going to be able to, you know, live life on your terms? Can you survive a month or two months without making money from your active income source, right? If you can't, then you should start thinking a lot about um, having a passive income system in your finances. And Tentry wants to offer you that on a platter of gold, right? So, uh, yeah, so let us move forward because of time. So let us talk about the three ways um, to earn in the foreign exchange market. Now, this is three ways that you can earn as a forex trader if you are trading actively in the market. The first way is to trade your capital, which is where the majority of us start from. And then the next level is once you start, once you start getting a good understanding of the skill sets, you can start handling funds for people, 
which is becoming a fund manager. And then the last place is investing in profitable traders. Now, this third way is where I want you to be, right? Where I want you to be. Now, with this, you'll be able to earn passive income by investing in profitable traders. Now, there is a popular statistics out there that 90% of traders lose money. That is the majority of people that claim to be forex traders today are actively not making money. They are losing money. So that means uh, it is very, very difficult to find profitable traders, okay? And a lot of people also want to be profitable. What if we there is a platform where those that are profitable, okay, can connect with those that are not yet profitable? Now, that is what our platform is about at Tentry, the copy trading platform. So we are going to give you access to um, a variety of profitable traders. These are traders in the top 10% of good traders in the world. And then you'll be able to see their performance, their statistic. You know exactly what they trade, how they trade, how much they are making in a particular period of time. And then you choose to connect your account with this particular trader. So if you're able to do that, naturally you start transitioning into uh, the top 10% of traders in the world as well. Okay. So 10 trade is solving a very, very um, serious issue in the foreign exchange market, right? As, as, as relates to uh, retail traders. So how do you invest in profitable traders? How do you do that, right? So you're going to be leveraging again, like I said, on the social trading platform by 10 trade. So investing made easy with social trading. So the platform is a platform that connects um, profitable traders with um, struggling traders, all right? So that you can leverage on um, a manager's experience, expertise to also make money in the foreign exchange market, right? And when you are involved in copy trading, the fund manager will do all of the work. The only thing you would have to do is to set up your account. Once you set it up, you, you pretty much forget about it. So you are not going to be actively involved in any other thing once you set up your account. So the trader trades on your account and then based on the monthly split agreement, right? So the system remits the profit split to the fund manager. Okay, everything is done very, very seamlessly with the technology available at 10 trade, all right? So this is, also, this is also an opportunity for you to earn in US dollars and spend in Naira, all right? So this is, this is a solution to beating inflation in Nigeria. So regardless of how expensive things are right now, okay, in Nigeria, if you are earning in dollars, you, you don't really feel it. Right. I was speaking to my folks back in Lagos and I was told that during this Christmas, I think um, a chicken is now 15,000 naira. And then a lot of people were complaining that it is expensive, it's expensive. And I'm like, 15,000 naira is just less than, I think that's just $20, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that is so little, right? If you are actually making earning money in dollars, it, even if they say that chicken is fifty thousand naira today, right? You should be able to, you know, afford it without complaining. So, where you need to get to is to stop complaining about how expensive things are in Nigeria, okay? And start making money in dollars that will help you fund your lifestyle in naira, right? So we are. We are approaching um, a season, possibly again and again, in the next three to six months, the dollar to Naira might be a hundred, might be 1,000 Naira to $1, okay? So 
you should by all means, by all means earn in dollars because an average person working in Nigeria today that is probably an employee have been earning the same salary in the last two to five years. The same salary, there's no appraisal, there's no increment. But cost of goods, there's serious inflation in Nigeria. So it's no longer a talk of maybe you, you, you should start earning in dollars. You must start earning in dollars to be able to survive in that country, right? And then guys, trust me, it's going to get worse before it gets good in Nigeria. You are aware about the, the upcoming elections, right? So there'll be a change of power possibly. And then before the economy can really, really stabilize, things might get worse a bit. So are you prepared for, you know, things to be worse in Nigeria? I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, talk negative, but it's just the reality of what is going to happen, right? So that's all about the importance of earning in a foreign currency other than the Naira, right? And everything here, you can start doing that easily, easily, right? With the copy trading platform that 10 Trade provides, right? So how do you get started? It's very, it's very, very simple. The first thing you wanna do is to have an account with 10 Trade. So I'm, 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 I'm gonna go to the 10 Trade platform right now. The first thing you want to have is an account with 10 trade, right? So you want to go to this website, 10, 10.trade, if you don't have an account yet, right? So you want to open an account. So let's just wait for that to load up real, real quick. And version an, an account with 10 trade is very, very easy and seamless. Once you go to the website, 10.trade or 10 tradeeffect.com you just come here you click on register once you do that you have access to this short form right here and then you're done so once you create, once you create your account you want to do your your verification and then you proceed to make your deposit so once you create your account you'll be given access to your dashboard right so this is like your account your profile on 10 trade, right? So on your dashboard, on your dashboard, on the left-hand side, you see a lot of options, but be, you want to look for the copy trading tab, right? The copy trading tab here. So just come there and then you click on copy trading rankings. So when you click on these rankings, it's gonna give you access to all of the fund managers available right now. And then they are listed in order of their performance within a particular period of time. So you can see the top five, the top three, or the top 10 traders on the platform based on performance, right? So it is these traders right now that before you decide to invest with them, you first and foremost check out their performance, okay? If this trader trades um, very, very good, like the way you want your account to be traded, then you proceed to connect your accounts with the person. Now, what, what I mean by connecting your accounts with the fund manager, you are not, again, sending money to anybody. Everybody that is here, Everyone listed here is also an active client of 10 Trade. Okay. This market, 818, the Global World Fund, every fund manager here is an active client of 10 Trade. Right. So, and then they've decided to be fund managers. So, and then we are ranking them here. So, they are. Clients of 10 trade, you are also clients of 10 trade. So once you decide to trade with this person, there's a way with a 10 trade platform, as this fund manager is trading on his on his on his own account, the same trade will be replicating on your own account as well in real time. Okay, without any slippage or something like that, in real time, right? So and then once this trader makes profit. At the end of the month, 
there will be profit split. Okay, so for example, if the trader is taking 20% profit, so if in a month it makes $1,000 profit on your account, you will go home with $800 at the end of that month and $200 goes to the fund manager, right? So everything is handled with the 10 trade system. So you won't be the one to be sending anybody uh, money, okay? So as a matter of fact, I do not know anybody on this plat platform right now, okay? So they are um, anonymous clients or anonymous clients, okay? So let's start by, <clears throat> excuse me, let's start by looking at how do you check out the performance of traders here, okay? So at random, or, or you start from number one, pick out, just click on the profile. So let's, let's start with this person, Global World Fund, and see this person's performance, okay? So right off the bat, you can see this person's return is 5,316%. So what this means is that since this person has been trading, he has made, uh, this is 50 times his investment, all right? So that means if you invested with this person when he started, you would have made 50 times your capital. And then this person has been trading for 560 days, as you can see, and the returns in the last one day, this person is in a drawdown of you know 0.44 percent, right? So let's go ahead and see the results. Okay, so this year, okay, so I think this 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 should be last year. From one year from now, this guy has made 293 percent within a year. Half year in the last six months, he has made 57%. Okay, in the last quarter, he has made minus 2%. Last month, he made this. Okay, so you can see this person starts. If you want to see everything in a chart, just scroll down. You will see how much this person has been making month after month. So this person started trading August of 2021, right? His first month. As you can see he made 11%, second month he made 20% profit, the fourth month he made 203%, right? So last month, December, he made um, less than 2%, minus 2, he lost 2%, okay? And then this month is currently in a drawdown of less than 1%. So you are seeing this person's performance in real time, okay? And then these results are verified results because 10 trade handles everything. You can see this person, the average. So based on the performance in the last almost two years, the average return every week is 5%. The average return monthly is 23%, right? You can sort of start here. If you scroll up, if you go to the trading tab, let's see what was in, in, in the trading tab, okay? check out the, the equity curve here. Even though there's drawdown, right? But you can see steady growth on this person. So in the last few months, this person has been uh, plateauing kind of, right? So he hasn't really made serious um, growth in the last three months, but that's happened in the journey of um, a trader, okay? You can see the curve. So he's a steady trader. Let's go to the instrument tab. So all of these details are what's gonna guide you to determine um, if you wanna trade with this person or not. The instrument tab will give you access to the instrument that this person trades. You can see it trades ADUS, it trades a variety of instruments, right? It trades, it trades stocks as well, right? It trades um, indices another commodity, right? So check out this person's best trade. His best trade, right? So that means on one particular trade, he made a profit of $1.4 million. His, his worst trade, 
okay, he lost two over $200,000. So this person, as it is, is more profitable than, you know, he loses money, all right? So he has won 371 trades. He has lost 118 trades, okay? He has made a total profit of $9 million, all right? So this person looks, looks stable. Average trade duration is three days. So this guy looks like a swing trader. You can see every print and loss, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's go to the equity curve, the equity. So you can see mass profit, 67%, maximum drawdown, 44%. So at a point in time, this person has, has had a drawdown of 44%. So if you are fine with this kind of performance, these results, you just decide to invest with this person. So all of these details are what you are going to look at before you decide to trade with a particular fund manager, all right? So everything is open to you. The performance is open to you. So, and then this is not somebody hiding their performance, right? So everything is visible, right? Let's check out another, another fund manager, all right? So this first one, let's check out this USD expert, okay? So this person has been trading for five, 33 days. This is a bit over a year. And in that period of time, he has made 250% profit. Okay, so that means he has, he has more than doubled his account in less than two years, which is a remarkable uh, performance. Okay, so all time 250% in a year, he has made 96%, half a year he has made 60%, 59%. In a quarter, he has made 22%. In one month time, in a month, he has made six point six percent a week. This so today he has made one percent, almost one percent profit today. Okay, so let, let us scroll down and check out this person's performance. Okay, this guy has been trading since August as well. Okay, he has had majority of the months have been profitable, as you can see. The green and profitable, right? His um, highest month is I think um November last year, he made 21% profit in a month. So at every time that he has had a losing month, the following month has been profitable. He, he has recovered losses. So this person, as you can see, based on performance would have losing months. So you must be prepared. If you trade with this trader, you must be prepared to not always be in profit, but you know that based on track record, even though this person loses, uh, has um, losing months, he always bounces back in profit. So at the end of the day, okay, is ultimately profitable. And then that's what trading is uh, all about. It's not every time that you make money trading. Okay, so this is a realistic trader, right? Let's go to the, to the trading tab. Let's check out this person's um, equity growth. You can see this person has a steady equity, has drawdowns ultimately in profit, all right? So this is usually how um, a trader's equity looks like. It will be in profit, then there will be a little drawdown, ultimately you swing back into profit, right? Let's check out the instrument tab. What instruments does this person trade? He only trades USD JPY. And in about two years, he has only taken um, about 650 trades. So this person takes trades uh, possibly once, once a day on the average, right? Let's, let's check out this person's drawdown par, 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 parameters. Uh, you can see here, good, good. So the max, the max drawdown here on this trader is 22% drawdown, okay? And the mass profit is 29%. So even though he has a drawdown of this amount, ultimately he has recovered it by the returns, right? So this particular trader has a good performance. You can see everything over here. So these are the kind of things that you want to be looking at 
one thing that you want to look at in, in selecting a good trader is first of all, you want to check out this person's returns. Okay, what is returns on a monthly basis if he has that track record? And then you can see this person's track record in over a year. This person has been trading consistently month after month. And in over a year, he had only had two losing months, right? And about, let's say, 12 or 13 profitable months, which is remarkable. So once a trader is uh, more profitable than he loses money, that is your first check, right? Second check is you want to check out the equity curve, all right? And check out the maximum drawdown. Okay, so that means at a point in time, this person, he was losing 22% of his whole account, right? So are you patient enough to be in a drawdown of 22%, right? If, if you are not, then this person is not for you. But if you are, then you can also stick around. So if you have low tolerance for risk, that means you need to go and find somebody that is not this uh, aggressive. But I think this trader is uh, moderate enough, at least for a trader trading a large amount of money. All right. So, and then you want to check out, what does you want to check out? You also want to check out the trader's, um, what's it called? Um, the trader's capital. Now, look at this. This person has been trading, uh, he has made a profit of $9 million. So obviously, this person's trading capital is also should, should be tens of millions, maybe $10 million or more, All right? So it might, be, it might be unrealistic for you that has an account of, let's say $50 or $100 to connect your account with this person. Because if you do that, the trader can take more risk than you can. All right. I hope that makes sense. So you, you also want to find traders that make profits possibly um, within the range of your you know, capital. But even if you want to use this person, I'll show you how to um, do that uh, easily with the computer settings. So when you decide on the trader that you want to connect with, as you can see, so you want to take your time and go through all or the majority of the list here. Okay, so exhaust, exhaust this um, list here and then find a suitable trader. That is all, all right? So I'm not um, recommending anyone, but do your due diligence and find a trader based on the performance and based on the asset that we are using, okay? The growth, the drawdown, the capital, you want to find a trader that suits your style or a consistent trader, right? Let me know if you are following me. Type a yes in the chat box if you understand what I've been saying so far. Let me just get some feedback from you guys before we go forward. Awesome, thank you so much for your response. Good. So let's say you've done your due diligence and then you decide on who to trade with, you just want to go ahead and click on invest. That's all. So let's say you are trading with USDJPY experts that we just finished checking. You just click on invest. Either you are checking this on your phone or on your laptop, you see the invest button. So click on invest. Once you click on invest, you'll be taken to another page and that is a page whereby you are going to start the copy trading setting. So let's wait for that to load up. Good. So you'll be taken to this page here. And of course, like I said, the first thing you want to do is to, you must have an account with 10 trade, and then your account must be funded, right? Funded. So I recommend 
the minimum that you want to do to fund your account with as a trader that wants to be a part of this platform, at least $100 minimum, right? You can fund as, as much as you want, right? We have traders that are funding with tens of thousands of dollars, right? If you have, you know, depends on how much, you know, you have. So there's no maximum, but the minimum that I recommend is $100 to be able to compete um, better. And then some fund managers over here on the details section, some are going to um, display the minimum capital that you should have in order to copy them. Some will say you must have a minimum of, let's say $500 or $10,000 or $200. So that depends on the fund manager, okay? But this person has given us um, no information about the minimum. So that means anybody can copy him using the right week settings. And check out this person's performance fee over here. So this person is gonna, uh, is, is charging 20% monthly, all right? So that means from every capital, profit that it makes for you. At the end of the month, 20% will be automatically deducted from your account, okay, by 10 trade, okay, because you are part of is trading, okay? So the first thing you, you want to do is to, you want to uh, put in your trading account here. So by default, you need to put in your trading account ID and password over here. I think it's because I'm lo logged, good. Let me, let me log out. It's because I'm logged in, that's why it's, let me do that again. Click on invest. All right, good. You can see, you'll be asked to put in your trading account. This is your MT5 ID. So let's put that in. That's the account that you funded. And then you want to use the password. Put the password. Okay, this is the provider, the offer. And then what do you do? You want to click on register. That's the first step. It's very, very simple. No, no hassles whatsoever. Good. Attention, you want to read this out, but nothing biggie. Just, just telling you to do your settings. Then you click on OK. Good, so the first thing that you want to do is over here, your subscription strategy. This is setting up, read it, setting up the difference between source and copied trade. So this is where you set, you, you do the lot size settings because the capital of the fund manager is not the same capital that you are trading with. So that means if the fund manager is trading with, let's say 10 lots, 10 lots, right? Your own account, if it is lesser, should be lesser than 10 lots, right? So this is where you do all of that setting so that trades are rightly copied based on your capital. So how do you proceed? You click, come here and then you click on edit. So click on edit. And then over here, you see all of the settings available. So you, you wanna take your time and go through this, all right? So we have auto scale, we have the multiply option, we have fixed lot, and then we have lot proportion, all right? So fixed lot, for, for example, is if, so let's say the master trader on his own account entered a trade with, let's say, 5.0 lot on Euro USD. If you are using a fixed lot, let's select fixed. If, if you're using a fixed lot, you can, it says, it says copies volumes are always equal to the risk ratio. So that means you want to have a fixed amount of lots that you'll be using for every open trade. So if your own fixed lot is, let's say 0.05, for example, if the master trader on a single trade opens a trade 
of five lots on his own account. Because you are using a fixed lot setting and then you set it to 0 0.05. So that means on your own account, that same trade will be opened with 0 0.05. So that means you, are, you have a great deal of um, control as regards the lot size that will be used to place trades on your account. Auto scale, for example, it says the ratio of a copy's volume to the original volume is equal to the ratio of the followers and providers compared values, right? So basically, in essence, if you choose auto scale, if, if, you, if you choose auto scale, right, by default, the same kind of risk, okay, the same, the same kind of risk is on the master account will be the same risk that will be used on your own account based on the capital. So there's a condition that, so let's say, on every trade, the, the trader, the mother trader is risking, let's say 1% per trade. On your own account as well, the same amount of percentage will be risked, right? But personally, I recommend, in order for you, for you to use auto scale as your volume scaling, your account needs to be very, very healthy, right? In the realms of, let's say at least, um, let's say $5,000 so that the right lot size will be used, okay? So the type of recommendation is also similar to um, lot proportion. So once you read this, you can understand it. And then we have multiply. Now, if you are using multiply, usually, the fund manager would give you the setting to use as volume multiplier, all right? So I won't really talk much about this. So if a fund manager wants you to use multiply, he or she will tell you the multiplier that you should use so that you are copying the trade with the right risk, okay? So let's just say we are using a fixed lot, for example, and then let's say we are using 0 0.01. Okay, click on save changes. So you would decide on what to use. That is all you are doing under subscription strategy. And this is just going to help you um, to set the kinds of lot size that will be used on your own account. All right. The next one is, is the correction. All right, so final processing of copied parameters. So click on edit. So this is if you want to have um, control over the maximum, the total open trades that you want to be running on your account. So if on your account at any given point in time, you want the maximum lot size that will be opened on your account to be, uh, let's say one lot, that means even though based on your setting, one lot, um, over one lot should be used, right? So if you have a maximum open volume here, what you put here will be the maximum amount of lot size that will be used. I hope that makes sense. So you can have, you know, like a control over this here, right? So you can choose to use it or not use it. So I just click on cancel. The next setting is the last setting, which is the risk management. Setting up the subscriptions acceptable risks, risks, right? Very, very important. You're gonna come here, click on edit. And here you are asked the total loss level. As you can see, this is the aggregated realized loss of all copy trades since joining the provider. When reached, it triggers unsubscribe. So this talks about the maximum amount of money that you are willing to lose when copying this trader. Of course, you must understand that this is a foreign exchange market. Um, you can make profits, but you're also at risk of making a loss. 
So in order not to lose 100% of your capital, this is a system in place to cap the loss that you make. So if your maximum threshold for loss is let's say 10% or 30% of your account, you will put that value here in dollars. So let's say you are trading $1,000 account, that's your capital. And then the maximum loss that you are willing to incur, if it ever happens, is, three, is, um, is 30% of your account. 30% of your account is $300. So you put $300 here. So that means at any point in time, if you know market is not going the trader's way, if you are in a drawdown of $300, you will be automatically unsubscribed from the fund manager. It's as simple as that. So if you ever lose money up until this range, automatically you are disconnected from the fund manager. So if the trader does not uh, open new trades, right? That trade will not open on your own account anymore, right? So this is for um, losses. And then the second one is for floating loss, all right? So what's the maximum floating loss that you're willing to incur as well? You can use the same value or less, depend on your kind of person, okay? So once this happens, okay, you are also, uh, you also set it what you, what you want to happen, okay? So total profit is, is there a cap on the maximum profit that you want this trader to make for you? So if your target is to make, let's say 10% in a month, for example, and when that happens, you want to be automatically unsubscribed. You just put that here. So if your total profit is 10% of your account is $100. So if that happens, if you make a $100 profit, like so, automatically you are going to be unsubscribed from the trade, from this fund manager, okay? So this last setting is the floating loss level action so if for any reason you are in a floating loss of 300 dollars what action do you want to be taken and then you can see all of the actions here right is it to close all trades or close unprofitable trades or close all unprofitable trades depend on what you want to do okay so let's say close unprofitable trade okay and then once you are done with that, you click on save changes. Save changes. Okay, so these are the three settings that you will need to make in order to be done with your proper um, subscription to a fund manager. And then once you are done, the next thing would be to activate it. As you can see over here, you can see your subscription is not active. To start copying, activate the subscription. So how do you activate the subscription? Over here at the top, under actions, click on actions, and then you click on activate. So when you activate it, when this trader opens a new position, right, it will start copying on your own account. So let's click on activate. All right, good, so you are set. So, and at any point in time, at any point in time, you can unsubscribe from a fund manager at any point in time. So how do you unsubscribe? The same process, you get into this dashboard, you come to actions and then click on suspend or unsubscribe, okay? So when you click on unsubscribe, it will remove everything. Okay, so suspend is just to pause it. Unsubscribe is to stop it totally, all right? Click on unsubscribe. Good. So that is how you do the copy, right? And then 
you can see over here, you can see all of your activity here. You can see how much you have made, the person has made you a loss in a month, right? You can see the performance fee that was made month after month. That is if your subscription is active, right? So all what you have to do is to find a very, very good trader. You click on invest, you do your settings, and then that is all you are doing. You're not doing any other thing, okay? So that's the beauty of you know, what we have at 10 Trade. When you connect your accounts with a good trader and then you are making money month after month, passively. And this is money that you are making without your active involvement, okay? And then you are making that decision based on uh, performance. So you are making an informed decision. Your risk is in place. So there is no way that you lose all of your capital if you have the right risk in place, right? And then you can decide to disconnect your account with, with a trader at any point in time and then connect with another trader at any point in time. So you have full control. Honestly, you have full control over how you want your account to be traded. And that's the beauty of what we have. So 10 trade puts the power in your hands when it comes to investing. All right. Hope that makes sense, guys. If, if, this, if this makes sense to you, type in value in the chat box. Type in value in chat box. And then this is a time for us to also start asking questions. So based on based on what we've you know learned so far, if you have any questions, let me know if you have any questions by typing it in the chat box, or let me know I can unmute you, and then you would ask your questions. So let me just start with the frequently asked questions about the platform. So somebody would always ask that can you copy multiple um, traders at once. Yes, you can copy multiple at once, but you cannot copy them. You, you cannot copy two, two fund, fund managers with the same MT5 account. If you want to copy multiple fund managers, then you need to create a second account or a third account. So one MT5 account for one manager. That's how it's done. So as long as you are funding your account, your, your new account, you can copy as many traders as you want based on your capital, okay? The second question that people, people usually ask is that, um, can you still trade on your account as, this trading is taking place. Yes, you can still trade on your account. Okay, so uh, as trades are being copied on your account, you can also uh, you can also take manual trades by yourself, and you still have control over trades that have been copied onto your account. So it's like you see, you have access to everything. You have hundred um, percent autonomy over how trades are run. Is that clear, guys? Is that clear? Give, give me some feedback in the chat box if you have any questions. Uh, if you want me to unmute you so that you ask your questions, please signify. Mr. Manuel, uh, Felicitas, Solomon Musa, Vivian, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, Vivian, do you, do you, do you want me to unmute you? You said, is it yes? No. Okay, good, 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 good. So let's let's just talk about something else while we wait, while we wait for questions, if uh, any questions. So all right, you type your questions. Good. Let's do that. So back to what we have on the slides now. I like this slide. This, this slide was talking about risk, okay? So it says, over time, the, the biggest risk you can take 
is not to take any risk at all. And this cuts across everything about life. You know, if there's no risk, there's no profit. If there's, if there's, if there's anything in life that will make you profit, there's always a risk attached to it. That, that is why you, you should be skeptical about platforms that promise you profit without, without risk. All right, so you need to take uh, that risk in order to enjoy the profit. Vivian says, does it mean we can close any profitable trade? Yes, you can do that. Yes, you can do that. Yes, you have control over running trades. Okay, but you'll be your profit splits will be based on the trades that you close, based on how much um, you, you've made, based on that open trade. Okay, good. So take the risk, guys. Take the risk. There are people that are taking the risk, and then they are on their way to a passive income. All right. So. Also, let's say later on you have questions, you can of course um, chat up your account officer, right? Everybody here has an account officer that you can ask questions or just reach out to the support on the website, on Tentrade website, if you have any questions, and then we'll furnish you with all of the answers. But guys, um, the year just started, a lot of things are gonna happen this year. You want to, position yourself rightly and join a chariot, a platform that can deliver your expectations, right? And then the Forex market, as you all know, is a six, is averaging $6 trillion on a daily basis. So the money, the money that you can make in the Forex market is infinite, right? So we have a lot of opportunities available in the Forex market. And then you have some sort of an easy way um, that you can make money in the foreign exchange market. That means you won't have to start um, doing chart analysis anymore. You won't have to be managing trades, right? The fund manager does everything for you. You just sit back, relax, and smile to the profits when made. Okay? so. That, that's, that's the beauty of what we have here, all right? So again, if you wanna get started, you wanna create an account with 10 trade, that is a link you wanna go to, www.10.trade. I'm gonna type it in in the chat box if you don't have an account yet with 10 trade. 10 trade is a multi-asset uh, Forex broker, okay? And we have amazing services in 10 trade, right? This platform is just one out of many services that we have. And then of course, I think ending this week or this month, I'm not sure, for every deposit that you make, 10 trade will give you a 50% bonus, right? So if you make a deposit of a thousand dollars, 10 trade would add $500 to that amount to make it 1,500 that you can trade and then you make a profit and then you can withdraw your capital at any point in time, okay? So you, you wanna take advantage of that. I think it's gonna end this week. I'm not so certain, right? But this week, fund your account, get the bonus, connect your account with a good manager and start the year on a very, very uh, good note, all right? so. I'll just wait for one minute or so. If we don't have a, any questions, right, we might have to call it a night. I want to say thank you to everybody here for joining this um, webinar. Mr. Emmanuel, thank you. Felicitas, thank you. Solomon Musa, thank you. Vivian Oriala, thank you so much for being a part of this platform. If, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and then we'll give you all the answers you need. Okay, guys, I wish us all the very best this new year. We will make the right decisions this year uh, that will put us in the right uh, places at the end of the year. All right, guys, 
let's have a remarkable evening. Bye-bye, guys. Cheers.